Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing this evening? Today's Vlogmas 17, number 17, ornament number 17. Um, I've already tried making this video several times, but um, it says that my phone is, the memory on my phone is full, so hopefully it won't shut me off again. I had to delete a bunch of stuff, but anyway, um, the ornament I'm coming at at you with was a very fast ornament very cute it didn't take long at all and it's real easy and uh, and it's a free one on their blog and it is called the heart-shaped Santa ornament <laughs> I think he turned out really cute and his face his hat and the beard is all made out of like hearts <laughs> really cute um, I did it in Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in the metallic red and in the uh, light peach. And then the white is in Mainstay. And the only thing that I did different was his nose. She just had it whip stitched and his eyes were whip stitched. And I used buttons for his eyes. And I just did four single crochet and then just slip stitched back into the first uh, single crochet to make his nose. And I used a pom pom. But I think this would be really cute hanging on a gift bag or hanging on the tree or hanging on a wreath. But it's free on their blog, and I'll put a link down below. She's got several of uh, these kind of things up there on her blog of appliques. But anyway, okay. Now, the next thing I want to show you is Vintage Find. Um, I found this at my favorite antique store, and I don't know a whole lot about him, but here he is. <laughs> I just know he's Santa, <laughs> and he's, it says on the bottom he was made in Hong Kong, and that's the only thing that's on him, but anyway, I think he's really cute. I couldn't pass him up, and I really, I don't remember how much I paid for him, but I'm sure it wasn't very much, but he's all, he's a flocked Santa, but he sits up on the shelf, and he just waves, <laughs> but I thought he was really cute, and the other thing that I found which I didn't realize he was missing something whenever I got him. But that's okay. I didn't pay but just 10 cents for him. And it's another little flocked Santa ornament. And he's missing his little hand, but he's still cute. <laughs> but anyway, that's my vintage find. Now, the other thing I want to share with you is my nativity scene. My nativity set, I got it finished. I finished it today. And uh, I want to go ahead and just show you the rest of it again. And because it's going to be going to its new home real soon. And uh, anyway, it is by uh, Jennifer Percival. And it was a paid-for pattern. And uh, I'll put a link down below if you'd like to check it out. And I'm going to go ahead. It's got 11 pieces to it. And I did all this out of uh, either Red Heart, Super Saver yarn, Mainstay, or Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. And the first one I'm going to show you is Baby Jesus. I did his manger a little different than how she had it, and I added a piece of wood underneath it so it would set a little bit more solid, but that's the first one, and then here's Mary, <laughs> and then here's Joseph, and then uh, here's the wise men, one of them, here's the other one, and here's the third one and then I have the shepherd and he's got his little shepherd's hook that goes with him and then the angel and then we have the camel and then the ones I haven't showed you yet is I have the little lamb and then the last one is the donkey. <laughs> oh, I just think they're so cute. But anyway, my husband made the barn to put them in. And then I took it and set it up today. And I strung some clear lights through it. And I took a picture of it. And I'll have a picture of it at the end of the video that, so you can check it out. But it turned out really cute. And I'm happy with it. And... Like I said, it's a paid-for pattern, and, it, and it's by Jennifer Percival. And I'll put a link down below if you'd like to check it out. 
all right well i'm gonna hop off of here um uh, and uh, look for another ornament and i hope you guys have a wonderful evening and also i'd like to say thank you to everybody for making such uh sweet comments about my pattern and for going over and leaving comments over on my blog thank you so much it means so much to me i appreciate it very much but anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, and I will be chatting at you real soon.